Welcome back to the Vespihan Data Analytics and Visualization Platform. Let's continue where we stayed. We met data source connection, modeling, and new column fields in our managed data with Vespihan series. Let's get started with the other two features. Join. Join is the process of making two different tables in the same model map using a common column. For example, let's create a join to map the product stock and online stock tables in this model and examine and compare all the stock we have together. Our common column in these two tables is product. To create a join between two tables using this column, click on the join button in the upper right corner of the model window. This is the window where our existing joins are listed. Click on the Add button to create a join. Select the tables and columns to be mapped with the join. Select the join type. Select Inner Join Type to list only rows with matching data or Outer Join Type to list non-matching data and display null. The join we created is saved and listed in the Join menu. Also, if we have many joins, we can use this field to search our joins by table or column names and filter them according to the join type. Editing and deleting operations are also done from this menu. Let's examine how this join we created runs on a table. After adding a table from the plugin list, let's quickly create our table by adding columns from both tables. We got the online stock information from one table and the other stock information from another table. We can see them together in this table as a result of the join we added. And what would have happened without this join? Let's try to recreate the table by deleting the join we created. We don't get any warning when we add columns from a single table, but the system warns us when we add columns from the second table. Vispian not only warns, but also guides and helps. You need joins to use these two tables together. Do you want to add one? Without even clicking on the model menu, just add a quick join with a pop-up that appears while creating the table. Here is a fantastic data analysis companion, Session Variable. Session Variables is a feature for storing query results or constant values throughout the session. It runs queries specific to the user's session parameters. Let's create a session variable and learn more about this feature. Session variables are model-based and are added from the model, just like joins. Open the model window. Click on the session variable button next to the join button on the top right. All of the saved session variables are listed here. Use the Add button to add a new one. In the window that opens on the right side, we see the data sources we are connected to. Selecting one of them lists the tables and columns we can use on the left side. You can create your session variable by taking columns from here. Let's name this session variable. The name must be unique. We will also use this name when applying the session variable to a graph. Select a data type. Define a default value to be used in case the query result is empty. Let's specify the execution time. This preference determines whether the session variable is executed every time the query is run or the first time the dashboard is loaded. Write a query for the session variable and test the query result with execute. If everything is okay, save it with apply. Well, how to use session variables? Our first option is to use it in the default filter. Let's use the session variable that we created named shift in the default filter. To add it to the table graph, open the tools menu of the graph and add a default filter to the data column we want to apply from the data window. Open the filter description box and add the session variable here. Here is the formula. Let's add the same session variable to other graphs in this dashboard with the same method. This session variable enables us to make a user-based authorization on shifts. The user we are currently logged in is authorized to see all shifts. This is why we continue to see all shifts at the moment. However, when we log in with another user, the user will only be able to see the data of the shift within their authorization. Save the dashboard to see how the feature works after adding the session variable to all charts. Let's log out and then log in with other users to see the results of the session variable we defined. Meet with our shift managers and learn about the shifts they are responsible for. And let's examine the manufacturing analytics dashboard through their view. Each user logged into their own account. Let's open the dashboard name Manufacturing Analytics. As a result of the session variable we added, these three users view the same dashboard with different data. Each user only shows the information of the shift they are responsible for. 
shift one for Lawrence, shift two for Mitch, and shift three for Walt. Also, we can use it in the chart titles in the title plugin. To add a session variable to the title of a chart or a title plugin, we need to go to the title settings from the configuration menu and add the session variable formula there. Here's the formula. As an example, we have added a date to the title plugin in this dashboard. Through the current date session variable, every day the date of that day will be displayed in this title. To manage your data and much more, Vispian.